Hi friends, I'm Teacher Jennifer and welcome to reading. Today we are going to read a book called The Puddle Pail. It's a short story about some crocodiles who want to start a collection. So friends, do you guys have a collection? It can be a collection of rocks, collection of leaves, collection of flowers, or even a collection of markers. So what type of collection do you guys have? Yeah, that's cool, huh? I have a collection of rocks. So friends, if you guys are excited to read this book, well, let's get started. So friends, this is our book called The Puddle Pale, and it's by Alyssa Kelvin. So Alyssa Kelvin is the author of the book, so that means she's the one that wrote this book. So friends, what do you guys see in the front cover of the book? Yes, we see a rainbow. These are crocodiles. Yeah, they kind of look like dragons too, huh? Yeah, but they're crocodiles. We see some water, some flowers. Yeah, it's really beautiful and colorful, huh? Yeah, so now let's turn the book to the back to see what's on the back cover of the book. So as we turn it, we can see some words. So these words can either tell us what the book is going to be about or other books that the author has wrote. For example, if we read this right here, it says, Ernesto Can, the little blue crocodile, wants to collect things just like his big brother's soul. So he gathers colorful puddles, flower puddles, shadow puddles, cloud puddles, and star puddles. So friends, so this book is going to be about collecting things. And you can see that they collected all of those things. So this book sounds really interesting. I'm excited to read it. So now if we turn the book to the side. This right here, it's really, really skinny, huh? But this right here is called the spine of the book. So the spine of the book holds all the pages in the books together. Like, if we shake it, no pages are falling out because all of the pages are connected to the spine, just like our spine. Our spine connects our whole body together. So friends, are you guys excited to read this book? Okay, let's get started. The Puddle Pal by Alyssa Calavan. One bright morning after a storm, Ernest and a young bro crocodile and his big brother Soul set off the beach. They skipped through the wet grass and stamped through the mud, drumming on their shiny pails. I'm going to lift my pail with shells, said Soul, who loved to collect things. I'm going to fill my pail with sand and build a sand castle, said Ernest, who loved to make things. So friends, what do we see in this picture? Yes, we see the crocodiles. We see even a monkey right here. Yeah, we see the beach. We see some houses, a painting, some flowers. Good job. And then right here, we just have some shells and then the sand castle. Yeah. Maybe I'll find some rocks too, said Soul. All shapes and colors for my rock collection. And some feathers for my feather collection. And some strings. Soul bent down to pick up a rubber band. Just things for my rubber band collection. You ought to start a collection, Ernest. I don't know what to collect, Ernest replied. Collect something you like, said Soul. Something that comes in all different sizes and colors and shapes. That way your collection will be interesting. So friends, who likes to collect feathers? Yes, it's the green one. The green one, his name is Soul, and this one's Ernest. So Soul likes to collect leaves, rubber bands, rocks. Yeah. And then Ernest doesn't know what to collect. Ernest watched the clouds make flower shapes and seahorses in the windy sky. He watched a little snake cloud puff up into a dragon. He watched a rabbit cloud curl into a ball. Clouds are interesting, he said. I wish I could collect clouds. Clouds claimed soul. You can't collect clouds. Think of something else you like. 
So what's going on, friends? What does Ernest want to collect? Yeah, Ernest wants to collect the clouds. You can see here we have different shapes. Yeah, Ernest wants to collect clouds, but Soul tells him that you can't collect clouds. Star said Ernest, imagine the sky at night. I love to watch the stars, but you can't collect stars either, said Soul. They're too far away and too big and very, very hot. They look so small and cold, said Ernest. I wish I could collect stars. I know, said Sol. Starfishes, you could collect them. I like starfishes in, my, in the ocean, said Ernest, but I don't think I want to collect them. Well, Sol suggested, what about star-shaped cookies? You could collect star-shaped cookies, butter cookies with frosting. Well, so suggested, what about star-shaped cookies? You could collect star-shaped butter cookies with frosting. And star-shaped cookies with sprinkles, Ernest added. And star-shaped cherry cookies with toasted nuts, said Sol. Ernest's mouth watered. I wish I could collect a bunch of cookies right now in my stomach. So friends, what else does Ernest want to collect? Yeah, he wants to collect stars, but it's not possible. He can't. So, so was telling him to collect either some starfishes or star cookies. Just then, something caught Soul's eye. A bottle cap lying in the puddle. Look at that sparkly blue cap, Ernest. You could start a bottle cap collection. It's pretty, Ernest agreed, but I like the putter. It's even more. The puddle said soul. It looks like a piece of sky on the ground. I wish I could collect it. So friends, what does Ernest want to collect? Yeah, he wants to collect the puddle. Good job. You can't collect puddles, said soul. Yes, I can collect puddles, said Ernest. They're not too far away, or too big, or too hot, and I don't want to eat them. Splash! Splash! Ernest scooped the puddles into his pail. Ernest said, So, you're not really going to start a puddle collection, are you? Yes, said Ernest, I am. He scooped up a green puddle round as a saucer. Splash! Sploosh! They joined the other puddles in the pail. So rolled his eyes. Since you're going to stay here collecting puddles, I'll go down to the beach by myself and collect real things. So what's happening? What's happening to Soul? This is Soul. And this is Ernest. Yeah, Soul is mad. He looks mad, huh? Let's see what happens. Puddles are real though, Ernest, as he searched for more to collect. Here's a purple puddle, and a striped one, and a flower one. Here's a puddle full of diamonds and a puddle full of squares. So he sees right here that the puddle is purple, that the puddle has squares and diamonds, that has flowers and stripes. Yeah. A puddle full of gumballs and a puddle full of brooms. A puddle of an Easter egg and a puddle like a wheel and a puddle with a pretzel in it. Slippery puddles, smooth puddles, lemony, lettery, cool puddles. Ernest sang a song. He could scoop the puddles up, splish, splash, sang the puddles as they slid into the pail. So friends, what other puddles did he find? Yeah, he found some pretzel puddles, he found an easter egg puddles, a broom puddles, yeah, good job. So came back with his pal piled high. Look what I got, Ernest, 12 seashells, 8 feathers, 9 little rocks, 3 clumps of sea, a marble, a half nutshell, 
and a plastic dinosaur without a head. I got a lot of puddles, Ernest announced, all different sizes and colors and shapes. Soul peeked into Ernest's pail. Your puddles have all run together. They look like a pail full of ordinary water. They're one big puddle now, said Ernest, and Ernest and Soul puddle. That's the weirdest collection I've ever heard of, Soul replied. What can you do with the puddle? So what are the things that Soul collected at the beach? Yeah, some shells, leaves, rocks, a head without a dinosaur, some seaweed, marbles, nutshell. Good job. I'll think of something, Ernest carried his pail carefully as they started for home. I know, said Sol. You can help me wash the sand off my new collections. You can wash your own collections, Ernest replied. I think of something else to do with my puddle. Ernest set his puddle pot on the grass and sat down to swing. While he swung, his puddle slowly turned from gold to pink. Clouds swam in and out of it like fishes. So friends, now his water is turning pink and gold. Why do you guys think that? We'll find out. Let's see what happens. When night fell, stars collected in the puddle pile and a little piece of the moon too. So now the bucket is collecting stars and it's blue now. It's no more pink and gold. What's happening? Early the next morning, Ernest went out to check on his pail. A thirsty dog was drinking from it. You like my magic soup? Ernest asked. The dog waggled her towel and drank some more, leaving Ernest just enough water to paint some watercolor pictures. Ernest painted the dog, and he painted some clouds, and some stars, and many puddles. So he painted the dog right there, you guys can see. The dog that was drinking the water, huh? Soul came by, his pile filled with flowers and acorns and leaves. I started some new collections, he said. What have you got there, Ernest? A dog, replied Ernest, and a painting collection. Ooh, said Soul, what it's a collection with clouds and stars and everything. I used part of my puddle collection to make it, Ernest explained. The dog drank the other part. Ernest petted the dog. He looks at the clouds and the stars and the puddles shining on the grass. He felt proud and happy and hungry too since he hadn't eaten breakfast yet. So what's going on, friends? Yeah, so maybe Ernest might start a painting collection. Let's go collect blackberries, he said, from the bush down the road. Good idea, Soul grabbed his pile. Maybe we'll find some pennies on the way and some pine corns and gum wrappers. And maybe some shadow too, said Ernest. Shadows, Soul said. You can't. Yes, I can collect shadows, Ernest cried. He caught one for a second in his pile. <clears throat> and when it fluttered off, he and Soul filled their pails and themselves with sweet, juicy blackberries. So what have they collected? Blackberries. The end. Well, friends, that was the end of our book called The Puddle Pal by Alyssa Calvin. Hope you guys enjoyed this book. So now let's move on to reading extension with Teacher Mariana. Bye, everyone.